All right. Good morning. Good morning. Here we are with the light of the moon building. What have you been noticing? Let's take a moment. We're moving deeper and deeper into the fall season. Bales are thinning. Talk about that on the podcast a little bit this week. Which means the spiritual and the physical worlds are coming closer and closer so that we can access more messages, talk to our guides, ask questions, receive answers. So the moon is actually completely full tomorrow, and I usually wait. However, I am traveling, but we're already in the sign of Aries, and we've had a little bit of that energy and that time to start to feel, okay, what is this feeling like? As we open up to the fullness of Aries, Aries is fire, and we've moved into Scorpio. We move into, yeah, we're about to move into Scorpio this week, next week. <clears throat> yeah, next week, which starts to bring in some of that water energy. So right now we are in Libra, though. We are in that earth, but we'll move into the fire <clears throat> combined with the water. So we've got all these mixing of elements. Let's just say that. We've got a lot of planets shifting around. And this is a really big, one of the biggest super moons. So let's talk a minute about what that means. Besides it looking really beautiful and golden and harvesting, which is what this moon is called, the harvest moon, it's because of the way in which the path goes, right? We don't have a circular. We have an ecliptical path. A little dance that the moon and the earth and the sun all do. And so being a supermoon means it's the closest in that ecliptical path to the earth. Now, what does the moon control? It controls the poles of the tides, right? So all the water in the universe, we've already seen a lot of out of balance with that, right? With the floods and the hurricanes, all of our water, because we are water, is also being affected. Now, if we look at the elements, what does water hold? What is that intuitive part of us? What is our emotions? What is our heart? And so depending on your own constitution and how the moons affect you, you might even start to feel like, gosh, no wonder I've been so emotional lately. No wonder my emotional body has been filling up. Sometimes it'll occur as we go up to that increased light. And sometimes it'll be after, like the body gets full, 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 full. And then all of a sudden, oh, you have this big release. That's typically how I feel it because I just feel like, okay, I'm building up, building up, building up, and I've got all this emotional energy. Now, when we know this, we can use that to help us. Okay, what is my emotional body telling me? Because really our emotional body is a gift. What is the spiritual knowledge? What are the messages that I can bring in for me where I am right now? All right, and now kind of like we were talking about before you even hit record, sometimes it's other people's energy being attracted into ours. And so it really can kind of play a little number. I feel all these emotions. I don't know what I'm feeling. I don't know where it's coming from. And that's why it's so important to sit with that energy, to just breathe through it and feel that uncomfortable feeling. And I know I've been one that runs from it, ran from it forever, my emotional body, my emotional body, but I've learned to know, harness that energy. What can this mean? For me right now, where is that emotional body? Whose energy is it? What can I do to help myself release to process all of that? And we know this. We know this Reiki. We know this through meditations, through all the work that we do in here. And so it is a time to do it now. Sometimes the humanness of us doesn't want to do any of that. We're just so stuck, so marred in it. That's why Reiki is such a great thing. Just run your energy. Right, and you haven't learned yet, come learn. But yes, just run your energy and let it all start to move through and keep asking the questions. Now, the influence of Mars, let me see where my notes are. The influence of Mars helps us to get things done. Now, Mars has been in Cancer, which is moon energy, right? Sensitivity and all. But it will help you to understand what is going on if we look to that energy of Mars. Where can I take action? What can I do? We've had a lot of planets in retrograde, all right? Many of the outer planets are in retrograde. But what we want to really understand is how that affects us. And as we start to pull ourselves out of that retrograde energy with the energy of Pluto. Pluto is transformation, we're rebirth, transitioning out, death, all of that energy, which is really what we're into for soul energy as well right? The, the fall energy as well. I mean, the fall is about the cycles of life, about recognizing that. 
So as we start to recognize where we are in the cycle, what can we let go? Where can we now take action? What is Pluto going to help me do to transform my energy? It moves into Aquarius where it is going to stay. So it's been doing this back and forth dance. And we've noticed this. Look at the political system. Look at the upheaval. Look at the unrest. And so it's like reminding us, okay, we're at the age, we're coming to the end of that age of, of Pisces. Many have already thought, oh, we're already out of it. But we still have a little bit of what I've been saying, those dark forces. And then we have this age of Aquarius. So all of this transformation is kind of hitting. You know, it's kind of like, if you ever seen where they show the line between the fresh water and the ocean water? Like it's, it's you know, before it kind of moves together, there's a little bit of tension and so that's the energy we, many of us are feeling. I know I'm feeling that. And so we have to kind of just hold the light, hold the light, take smaller actions with the Aries energy. We don't have to get to the end. And I know I can be impatient. I just want to get there. I see this new idea. I just want to do it. But not really how it is. Sometimes it can be. But really, what we want to do is be able to start to take the action of the little steps. And many of what, much of what we're working on is things we've been working on all year. We're in the season of harvesting. So a lot of that is coming back around. You could start new ideas this time of year, but mostly we start those plants and seeds in the spring, but it's not unheard of to start them now. But we still just kind of want to keep going, okay, what can I break down? Imagine yourself to have leaves attached. What can I let go and return back to the earth? And how can I step up? to the responsibilities I have for myself, micro, first and foremost, and then to the world around me. So there will be lots of shifts coming up, lots of different things as we see this Pluto coming out. So for us, what does that mean right now? Notice, notice where you're staying stuck in the old energies. Notice what was the eclipse bringing in for you? And that's really kind of go like this because it's the north node energy that we want to bring in. And so where can you move out of your own box, right? And open up and expand the ideas that you want to bring forward. It's not a time to play small. It's not a time to go into, oh, it's never going to change. It's like, no, where can I be a catalyst for this change too? Where can I show up with these tools, with my soul? This is the shift. This is that new Aquarian age. So let me talk about it where I am. Let me bring it forward. And I'm not saying you have to come out totally woo. Why not though, right? We're all full of something. <laughs> Why not woo? But just like, you know, all right, everybody, let's calm down. Families, let's take a pause for a moment. You know, work, let's take a pause for a moment. But showing up in that light is a lot of what this energy is. So figuring out how can I take these small steps to get there? And then with the Aries energy, we take the steps. So as we move through the meditation, we want to notice, okay, where have we been? What have we been putting out? Let's say it that way. From the new moon that we had a few weeks ago, what can we then say, okay, this is working. This is where I want to continue going. This is where I want to open up to the fullest energy of my light. Now, the other part of that full, beautiful moon, we all love to go out and say, oh, look at the moon, right? Is that with all the light, it does push on that darkness. So again, we have to have it released. So maybe we do have to cry. Maybe we do have to sit in our emotions, but that's a good thing because underneath it are the lessons that we want to bring forward as we move through the rest of the cycle, go deeper into the season, opening up to the veilings, to the thinning of the veils and really start to work with our soul energy. All right. Summer, we were way out there with the soul. Now we start to pull it in. And each day we notice the days are getting shorter. The light is shifting. We pull that energy into ourselves. All right. So have a journal with you. We'll take a pause for a moment. Perhaps you have your same full moon journal, moon journal, not just full, but moon journal. And you can begin to really make some notes. I'm going to maybe check mark off where you were. Maybe you rewrite out your intentions that you want to shine the fullest light with. And as you shine that fullest light and light and light and light, guess what? Over the rest of the cycle of this moon, then you'll start to release out the other. But you will have set in place the light that can hold that vibration for you. All right, so let's do our practice. Sit in meditation and access these energies for ourselves. Taking a nice deep inhale, finding something to light. Exhale, breathing all the way back down. 
Inhale, recognizing that fire within you, allowing it to turn into the element of air through the smoke, through the incense, the smells, clearing the space, clearing the mind. Take another deep inhale as we call in the element of water. We ask for balance in this element. Let it flow. Let it move through you, opening your heart. Calling in the element of earth, grounding, centering, allowing all these elements to flow with us, through us. Taking another deep inhale and exhale all the way down, slowing down, calling all your energy into you. Inhale, expanding the breath up the body. Exhale, breathing all the way down, coming into the body, grounding. Inhale, expanding the breath up the body. And as you exhale, just calling in, aligning the spiritual body right on top of the emotional body, mental body, physical body, centering. Taking another deep inhale, breathing up all the way. Exhale, breathing all the way back down. Bringing the awareness deep into the heart, continuing that breath as you feel into the energy of your heart, deep within, connecting with the greater source, creator, God. Know that you're loved, guided, protected, feeling all this energy coming in around us. As we call in our Reiki masters, the teachers that have come before us, calling in the archangels to open the heart, to flow the emotions for us, with us, through us. Calling in the crystal beings for amusement, magnification, that ethereal energy of the crystals. Calling in your higher self right above the crown to receive the messages for you acknowledging the light of this moon growing as we take this time noticing this great wheel of life this season of fall notice that thinning of the veils that you can receive these messages what are you harvesting where is your path these are the questions to ask under this light calling in the directions to the west, the north, the east, and the south, above us, below us, right into the very center, coming into this place right here, breathing into the heart, exhaling out of the heart, breathing into the heart, exhaling out of the heart. Dropping into the solar plexus. As you continue that breath into the heart and exhale now out through the solar plexus and just asking right here, what are the emotions I'm holding on to as this light is building? Feel into the emotional energy of the solar plexus, what's mixing with your energy, your power. That's where we want to release. That's where you might even be feeling really full right now. And as we imagine that energy clearing, we imagine the light of the moon coming right into that solar plexus, shining light on your power, your path. What does that mean for you? Send in Reiki, Han Chin Se Shun In, Han Chin Se Shun In, Han Chin Se Shun In. Just receive the energy coming in. Placing one hand on the heart, one hand on the solar plexus, receiving the energy, let it flow through you. Calling in Ariel, the world angel grid that helps us with our purpose in this lifetime and allow all this energy to start coming through. Taking a moment and noticing what are those intentions for you that you have been working with, setting, we do it from the heart, deep into the heart, drop out of the mind, into the heart. 
reaffirm those intentions. As you reaffirm, feel them in your heart, the vibrations of what they are. Loving yourself more, that's one of mine. Feel the love. Surrendering more to my path. Feel the freedom. So with your intentions, notice what those elevated emotions are. And that's where we hold that light, that vibration. We honor the cosmic forces. this solar plexus bowl, allow it to clear this energy for you so that you can hold this golden light, your purpose, your path, your power. Opening up that third eye, connecting it with your heart, with your solar plexus. I surrender to take step by step action under the light of this moon. Inhaling, holding that vibration in your heart, feeling that third eye. visualize you're spinning in this Merkaba energy in the cosmic forces all around us being at one with the earth as the moon shines its light rotating and spinning illuminating your path to a fire which is about action which is about taking your knowledge out and opening up into the world bringing it forward for change, for social justice, for feeling connected and a part of this new age, this new earth coming forward. Inhaling deep into the heart, exhaling, setting the aura of your energy all around, setting that energy with your intentions, your light, your power. Grounding all this energy into the body as we move through the tapping points, I am step by step in my power, making shifts and changes with my soul, wholeheartedly showing up under these cosmic forces that help me to evolve, to grow. I am being strong in my path. Processing my emotions is a gift. I receive the messages for me. I am, just for today, present, healthy, 
alive, full of joy. I am right here, right now, programming my aura, all for my highest good, just for today, right in this very moment. I am alive. I am on my path. I am receiving messages. I am, one more round, saying your mantras. Coming to the karate chop point, I choose to love and accept myself no matter what. Release the hands, take a nice deep inhale, holding the breath in. Letting it circulate, exhale out, and we seal all this energy in, shokure, shokure, shokure. Bringing the hands right up to the heart, taking a moment of gratitude. Gratitude for the cosmic forces that keep us growing, evolving, and raising our consciousness. Gratitude for my spirit, the connection with the greater spirit. Gratitude for showing up, setting energy under these cosmic forces. Inhaling one more time. Exhaling all the way down, grounding with Mother Earth, feeling the heart open, feeling the illumination of your third eye, and blinking the eyes back open, coming back. So continuing journaling if you want, sitting in meditation a few more moments if you want, and take this energy with you. Be out under that light at some point tonight. Have a great day to your spirit. Namaste.